Wireless Internet friends, welcome back to Blue Frog Bars. It's great to see you again. Summer is almost here. It's almost upon us, even though it tried to snow yesterday. That's Britain for you. You guys over there in California eh? or other hot countries, you just don't know the pain that as Brits suffer. So with summer almost here, we're going to give you something very special. A mint and watermelon cooler. Oh, it's delicious. It's making my mouth water already. So we're going to build this in the shaker. Keep it nice and simple. Firstly, we need the watermelon. Here's some I prepared earlier. It's a bit like Blue Peter this. Don't be shy with a watermelon. Get it in there. Lots of it. Oh, come on, I can't be doing messing about. Just get it in. Loads of watermelon in there. Check it out. Then we need our muddler. Basically, just a little tool for squashing things down. All right. You can find something else in the kitchen to use, I'm sure, if you don't have one of these. Or you can buy one online for a few pence. So, firstly, let's get that melon all nicely. Whoa, look at that. It's juicy licious. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. So good. So we want to get that down to a pulp. Of course, you can do it in a food mixer or a blender or whatever you call them. All right. But we're keeping it up close and personal here. It's a bit like using a bayonet. So, there we go. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of sugar syrup. Not too much. Okay, it depends how sweet your tooth is. I'm going to go with about 20 mil. I don't want it too sweet. Obviously, the melon's sweet. We're going to use some wonderful elderflower liqueur. Remember, we spoke about this the other day. Saint Germain. This is absolutely incredible, this stuff. 20% ABV. So once we've mixed this with the vodka we're about to use, this drink really does pack a punch. But you never know it when you're drinking it because it just slides down. It tastes amazing. So, Saint Germain Elderflower Liqueur. We're going to go with 25 mil. Get it in. Next, we are going to put in a few mint leaves. Now, I've got five mint leaves here. I'm not a massive fan of fresh mint. Okay, but when you just get that hint of mint in the background with the melon. Oh, my God. It is fabulous, fabulous. So we're gonna put these in. We've picked them very carefully from the stems. Okay, and one thing you do need to be careful with, with the mint, is that you don't bash the hell out of it. We're not bashing it, we're just giving it a light spank. Some of you know what I'm talking about. If you crush the mint, it will release bitterness into the drink, and we don't want that. Okay, so we're just pressing it in there. Should just be able to smell that, smell that mint coming through with the melon. You don't want one overpowering the other. And again, personal taste. Oh, I can just smell the mint coming through now. It's a perfect mix of mint and melon. Now, we're going to add the kicker. Let's get the real gear in there. Smirnoff white vodka. Now... We stock this behind a Blue Frog bar as standard, as you would expect Blue Frog, something a little bit different. Okay, this is a 41.3% ABV, as opposed to your standard Smirnoff, which is 37.5% ABV. Smirnoff White is a real premium vodka. Absolutely fantastic, packs a punch, smooth as anything, okay. But we stop this as a standard behind the bar if you want something that little bit more special. I think we're up to something like, I don't know, 18 vodkas currently behind the bar. So, Blue Frog Bar always bringing you something a little bit different, a little bit special. We're going with 50 mil of this fabulous Smirnoff White. Oh, come on. Oh, get it in. Boom. What do we need now? We need the fabulous ice. Always got to have the ice. Get it in, lovely jubbly. We're gonna give it a little shake. Remember, just until your shaker starts to frost on the outside. So easy to make, so simple, and 
sounds so delicious. Take your highball glass. Remember what we said the other day? Also known as a Collins. If you didn't see that tutorial, get it watched. We're gonna go straight into the glass. We're not gonna strain anything. We're just gonna go straight in. Here we go. Ice, melon, mint, the lot. Finish it off with a little bit of mint, a straw, and you're done. I'm not spanking the mint, or squeezing it, or crushing it, or doing anything else because I don't want the mint to overpower. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. The ice, the mint, the melon, all mixing in there. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, absolutely bang on. Seriously, I've said this before, I'll say it again. But if you're making that for your friends, you're gonna have a lot more friends by the end of the summer, I can promise you. So, there it is, the mint watermelon cooler. Get it made this summer, especially if you're Billy No Mates, because by the end of the summer, you'll be flooded with friends. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later.